strongly opposed this tax and then at the end came around and voted for it. What was your personal struggle there? Well, I still think it's a terrible tax policy. Um, you know, you have to understand the dynamics up there, which is uh, the governor issued a proclamation which sort of sets the, the debate for the special session. He specifically uh, declined to put any uh, balanced taxes on there, no high income taxes for, for the wealthiest New Mexicans, no corporate taxes, and he basically said, we will have a food tax. We, we tweaked the language at the end, so it took the word food out, but in essence, the deal was we were going to have a food tax, and believe me, many of us tried to, to take it out of there. In the end... Are you saying that came from the governor, we will have a food tax? Absolutely. It was in his proclamation, read his proclamation. So the governor and the leadership in both houses had a deal coming into the session. That's the truth. Um, so, um, so what we tried to do is, okay, we've got this terrible agenda that was negotiated among a very small number of folks. And in the case of the, of the Senate, I don't think it really reflects the majority of the Senate, um, or at least the majority of the caucus, and um, the Democratic caucus, which, you know, 27 of us. So what we tried to do is we, we begged and pleaded and cajoled and threatened to get that food tax out of there. And we were told no, 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 by leadership, and that the governor, you know, you know, and look at the, read the proclamation. So the best we could do those of us who really believe we need a much more balanced tax policy was to add some high-end uh, tax burden there. And we, we got something called the, the personal income tax add back placed into the package, which says people who disproportionately uh, higher income folks who itemize should help us solve this problem. We did manage to get the gross receipts tax down to one-eighth of a cent instead of a quarter cent. And we did manage to get the food tax from the seven, seven cents on a dollar to two cents. I still think it's very regressive. I think it hits poor families harder than it should and I really wish we would have got, taken a different route but you know we didn't we got here for a reason we, we didn't even we weren't even allowed to tax uh, talk about uh, more progressive taxes either in the in the, the October special session or in the 30-day session it was uh, they all went to the corporations committee and I joke with my colleague uh, Senator Phil Griego that we call it corpse we add corpse is short for corporations we put an e on them call the corpse because <laughs> every tax proposal bill that we brought there that would have asked high income folks or corporations to pay their fair share, share was tabled, was killed. However, thanks to the, the active lobbying of the Greater Albuquerque Chamber of Commerce and the Association of Commerce and Industry, the food tax survived. Um, and we're lucky they didn't survive at seven cents because if we're up to them, we would have a seven cent food tax because that's the only tax that the official uh, business community thought was acceptable.